Hello everyone. Welcome to Basic Electronics Virtual Laboratory Tutorial. Today we will discuss Ohm's law. So first is first practical is Ohm's law. In today's tutorial, first we will connect this component with the help of wire. So in the left hand side there is a list of instruction in this all the points have mentioned that how to connect these different components with each other you can follow these instructions as we all know that voltmeter is always connected in parallel with the component so we connect voltmeter in parallel we have to apply potential across the sister so we will connect one terminal one point of resistor with the applied potential and ammeter should be in series so we will connect ammeter in series and then point number 9 connected to point number 12 that is ground so there is an option that you can check that your connection is okay or not so by clicking on check connection a message will display right connection so it means you are connected or you have connected your all terminals properly. Now first we have to set the value of voltage by putting a constant value of resistance. So let's suppose the value of resistor R is 30 kilo ohm. The maximum range of resistance is 100 kilo ohm and the range of DC voltage is 30 volt. Our task is to draw a curve between voltage and current by putting the resistance value as a constant. So start in initially first we will set DC voltage to 1 volt and the value of current is 0 0.03 milliampere. So we will add this value to the experiment table. Now we will change the value of DC voltage to 3 then add again we will change it to 5 we will take approx 7 8 to 10 voltage values and across these 8 to 10 voltage values we will calculate the value of current and make a chart that is our experimental table So in our experimental table we have 10 values different of values of voltage and current then we will plot a graph between voltage and current and these values or this graph shows that there is a linear relationship between voltage and current and this is the verification of Ohm's law. So for a resistive component the current and voltage both are in linear risk. They have a linear relationship. Thank you.